The remains of three indigenous children from the Fort Belknap Reservation are making their way back home from an East Coast boarding school burial ground. This after the children were removed from their families back in 1890 to attend the Carlisle Indian Industrial School in Pennsylvania. A reparation delegation is transporting the remains cross-country today, passing through the Fort Peck Reservation with an official escort. It's an important historical and cultural effort spearheaded by local tribal historians and funded by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Alameda Heavy Hair died at the age of 16 in Pennsylvania of tuberculosis. She was part of the Lame Bull family line that that family tells us a convoy of vehicles is carrying the remains, which are each in small 3 by 5 caskets wrapped in buffalo robe. It feels good to have her back with us here and in the Lane Bull Cemetery. Um, she's a part of us, so that's she's part of our family. A wake is scheduled for 7 p.m. tonight in Hayes, and a reinterment service is set for tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Yesterday was a cloudy, cool, and rainy day, but today we have had much nicer weather throughout the entire state of Montana as we have had partly cloudy skies in most locations. It's also been mostly dry today, just a few isolated showers out there, mainly in locations east of I-15. It also feels pretty nice outside. Its temperatures are currently in the mid to upper 60s and low 70s. It was also a breezy day today along the Rocky Mountain front as well as in northeastern Montana. We're still dealing with that wind right now. Sustained wind speeds are are currently between 10 and 25 miles per hour. Taking a look at your forecast headlines, a disturbance is going to pass through our area tomorrow. So we're going to have a mixture of sun and clouds. There will be a few showers around later on tomorrow. We are going to be dealing with widespread gusty winds as well. Heading into this weekend, we are going to have pleasant fall weather, but a frost and or freeze is possible in some areas tomorrow night as well as Saturday night. And I'll let you know just how cold those temperatures are going to get in my full forecast in a few minutes.